Fragrance has to feel sexy as f because life's too short to feel anything but. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. So I have quite a few fragrances that give me that sexy vibe, but here are some of them that I can highly recommend to you. Not only are they sexy to me, but they are also fragrances people find attractive as f so without further ado, let's do this. First up, two fragrances that share some similarities, but they are different, both very sexy. Valentino Uomo Intense and Narciso Rodriguez For Him Bleu Noir Parfum. For Him Bleu Noir Parfum opens up with a dose of cardamom together with a bit of cypress and just a hint of citrus. So you have this spicy and aromatic thing going on in the opening and the opening is a nice one, but it's really the dry down that's sexy. The full dry down is powdery, musky and woody with leather in the background and the powderiness in this one is sort of a dark and deep. This is not a light and fresh kind of powdery. This is powdery sexiness with a dose of elegance and it's almost a must to check out if you like powdery scents and want something sexy. Subscribers know I call Valentina Omo Intense the sex bomb and it's without a single doubt one of the sexiest powdery scents a man can buy. It's also powdery, woody and leathery like for him Bleu Noir Parfum. But the biggest difference to me is Uomo Intense's dose of sweetness and its slightly darker feel due to the intensity of its leathery side. Once again, both very sexy. Next up is a fragrance I feel is quite underrated and I also think it's a fragrance that most people even don't know about. Paco Rabanne Major Me opens up with an incredibly sexy dose of cherry together with a dose of pepper and as it dries down in comes a dose of patchouli incense and oud and this is really when it's sexy time. I'm very picky with incense, I really mean it. I'm super picky with incense, but this is the kind of incense I think smells fantastic and the oud in this one is of the mass appealing and smooth kind. This is basically a super seductive and sexy kind of cherry together with a highly likable and mass appealing kind of oud and a super smooth dose of incense and patchouli and it all being a bit sweet. This honestly smells a bit niche to me and it's definitely one of the more unique scents from Paco Urban and it's a head turner that not only give me a sexy as f vibe but the compliments are quite sexy as well. Next up pure epicness from Dior and it's so damn good it's one of my fragrances for life. I know some guys don't like it but to me it's incredibly addictive, sexy as f and it's an attention grabber that's also one of my most complimented scents. Dior Sauvage Elixir opens up with a dose of freshness and spiciness and a bit of citrusy sweetness from grapefruit and I'm already loving it from the start. But the real sexiness is in the dry down where the focus is on sweet licorice on top of super smooth woodiness, a bit of vetiver and a touch of patchouli. It's unique. Oof. It's very strong, it's very sexy, all of those things, oh my. Next up, Chanel Allure Sport O Extreme. Now I know, I know, I know, I know, I talk a ton about this fragrance, but the reason for that is quite simple. This is freshness with a dose of sweetness and it's super attractive in a super sexy way. And not only does it make me feel incredibly sexy whenever I spray it on, it's also a scent a ton of other people find incredibly sexy, especially women. So O Extreme to me is woody and aromatic with this sort of a brightness and freshness from mint and pepper on top of a woody, vanillic, musky and sweet base. If you want a stunning mix of something aromatic something fresh, something sweet and something woody, then this is it. This is fresh sexy and those of you who've worn this out and about a lot know how crazy of a compliment getter it is. Next up, one of the sexiest vanilla scents in the world. It's one of the most attractive vanilla scents I've ever put my nose to and the vanilla is definitely multifaceted. It's definitely sweet, very creamy and very seductive. Initio Absolute Aphrodisiac is an addictive vanilla with musk, amber, a floral mix and a soft leather and that soft leather adds yet another layer of sexiness to it all and makes it dangerously sexy. Vanilla is the most like scent in the world and vanilla to many 
is one of the sexiest scents ever and this is definitely without a single doubt one of the sexiest vanilla scents you can find. So I recently did a comparison of Azaro the Most Wanted and the new Azaro the Most Wanted Parfum. I'm gonna link to that comparison above, so please do check it out. And both are scents that not only make me feel sexy as f but they are also scents that a lot of people find incredibly attractive. The original is a fragrance I've used to a ton of dates and it's an extremely seductive scent. Now the new Parfum is a very attractive scent as well, but its sexiness is a bit different. You get a fantastic dose of spiciness from cardamom together with the sweetness of toffee and it all resting on top of something woody. I believe the reason why this gives me a sexy as f vibe and the reason why it's so sexy to so many people is because it's quite well balanced yet with a big dose of personality. So yes, it's spicy, but that spiciness sort of tones down as it dries down. Yes, it's sweet, but its sweetness is not overly sweet or cloying or anything like that. And it's got a big dose of smooth sort of a masculinity thanks to its woody side. And everything combined is just so damn sexy. So I'm a self-confessed leather freak. I absolutely love the scent of leather. And to me, leather done right is incredibly sexy and also quite an attention grabbing kind of scent. And I have two absolutely fantastic leather fragrances for you. The first one is Memo Italian Leather. So this is super powerful, super sexy, and it's basically an aromatic blend with a powerful dose of vanilla and leather. If you love the scent of leather and want an attention grabbing leather fragrance that's super sexy, then you really need to check this one out. Please do make sure to get a sample first because this one is quite pricey. Now the other one is is the epic Parfum de Mali Godolphin. So this is probably one of the absolute most mass appealing leather fragrances you can buy. This reminds me a bit of Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather, but to me its leather is a bit more smooth and it has a dose of sweetness, something fruity, something ambery, and Parfum de Mali sort of a signature vanilla to it. And I believe it's that sweetness together with that sort of a fruitiness and that vanilla that makes this one such a mass appealing compliment getter that's incredibly sexy. Next up is all about sexy freshness and to me it's definitely one of the most attractive freshes ever made. Prada Luna Rosa is all about intense, aromatic and spicy freshness with a fantastic dose of lavender and something musky. This is not just another freshie. It's not just another freshie. And everyone who's worn this while being out and about among a lot of other people know how people find this one extremely sexy. I absolutely love Luna Rosa. I will never ever stop recommending Luna Rosa. This gives me a sexy as f vibe and I can highly recommend it to you. Last but not least is a fragrance that's quite new in my collection, but I really, and I really mean it, I really like it. So I'm gonna link to my review of Gisada Ambassador Intense above, so please do make sure to check it out. I gave it a really high rating in my review, and even so, it's growing on me day by day. This is a current favorite, and I found during my short time with it that it's quite an attention grabbing kind of scent and it's absolutely fantastic in a crazy sexy way. So all I'm gonna say is this, if you are looking for something that's incredibly sexy, make sure to check this one out. I would love to know which fragrances give you that sexy as vibe put it in the comments make sure you hit that subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell please do drop a like on this video and make sure you check out the videos over there oh yes oh yes and i'll see you in the next one